Hello. Works on Wednesdays, everybody. First item I got for you today. Team leader of the seals. This is the first seal hat I've seen on the tier 2 workshops. Only a matter of time until we get one in-game. Uh, this is probably not going to be my favorite for long. Because it's just it's the only one. And I'm not a huge fan of this yellow thingy here. Like, the swing for the fins isn't exactly my favorite thing in the world. But it is cute. It is cute. And uh, first seal hat. Anyway. Next, uh, unusual effect. Eclipse. Oh, and by the way, if you like TF2 Workshop items, you'll love today's sponsor manga at store. They're usually 20% cheaper than a community market. They host daily giveaways. There's also a trash can to quickly get rid of your trash. And they're giving away a Burning Flames team cap and unusual right now. So use my link in the description now if you decide to use it. On with the video. I like it a lot. It's, uh, it's a TF2 Eclipse unusual effect. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. One that could be very high tier. If you, if we add it and I unbox it next uh, next update, I'll be very a very happy man and a rich man too. Cappy cap. <laughs> it's a copy bar on your head. Uh, I know a certain someone <laughs> in the TF2 sphere who would not be a huge fan of this, but uh, I like it a lot. And that's the only thing that matters, right, folks? Yeah. Yeah, isn't it sweet? Isn't it just so cute? Oh my god. Look at Spy. He's so unhappy that there's a copy bar on his head. Look, here's a bunch of copy bars. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's really cute. You, you can say whatever you want. I like it. The gun show, ladies and gentlemen. A heavy melee or secondary replacement item. Not too sure what this would be. I still have a lot of respect for the people who still create Team Fortress 2 weaponry <laughs> in today's day and age. Even though Valve will probably never add them in. Uh, very, very cool. Very cool concept. Similar in colors to the airstrike. So, uh, there you go. Next. Something I usually do not add. A weapon skin of war paint. Yes, gentlemen. Yes, a war paint. I, I don't know. There's probably like some way with which to gauge whether a war paint is good or bad. But I just like this concept. I, I'm. I don't. I don't know what how the quality stuff works and stuff. But this. I like just just from the looks of it. It's uh, sleek, not too in your face yet. Distinguished. <laughs> Next, Texas sized the jaw of terror. Makes the engineer look a bit like a like a Terminator, I guess. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Another war paint, portable medkit war paint. Like it. I like it a lot. Probably one where people will be divided on because the colors don't lend themselves too well for a war paint. I'm guessing, but I. I I think it's a cute idea, and uh, it would be funny to maybe see a free-to-play <laughs> try and pick one of these up to get some health. That would be cool. Uh, anyway, that's my thought process behind the portable medkin war paint. Next up, we have portable ammo box war paint. So, another one of the same kind. Working similarly, would also be funny to see a free-to-play try and pick this up for some ammo. Like, just imagine the, the black box <laughs> and I'm trying to pick it up. I can already picture it. Next! Look at that. Digital dimension, a unusual effect. Uh, that was a GIF, but here we have, there it is, full screen this. God damn, the full sized effect. Very cool, see it on the, on the class. There it is. The Angersk Arbalist, yes, the Ar Arbalist, well, whatever. <laughs> I tried a kick. <laughs> Impale the opposition with this minigun replacement. That's right, this would fire uh, arrows out of the ballista head for heavy. I could only guess that this might be like a, a minigun replacement that needs to be reloaded, but does like 150 damage per shot or something like that. It looks quite funny. Don't know, don't know if I would actually want this <laughs> in the default game, but this could be very fun for like the medieval mode. But I don't, I don't know how you could add a weapon only for medieval mode anyway. And it looks cool. There you go. Cute ribbon. A cute little ribbon for the pyro. There it is. And in the same vein. <laughs> don't know if this was already in one of these videos. The Molten Maiden's bikini top. Sadly, it wasn't added in the summer update. But Valve, you can still change your mind on this fabulous creation of the workshop. <laughs> uh, or if you want to... Add something normal. Here's also the burners buttoned up. Uh, next in line. There you go. Burners buttoned up. <laughs> and maybe uh, if you also want to add a head replacement, here's the global warming pyro cosmetic. This looks a bit like it should be maybe just, you know, a, a Halloween restricted one. But we have some pretty wild ones for vanilla TF2, so I don't know about that even. Uh, definitely 
looks pretty dope. Pretty sick. This, in unusual, I think would be very cool. Uh, should probably be a, a high tier one if it gets added in the next crate. We'll see, we'll see. I like it. And last, but very much not least, the arm cannons. <laughs> Make soldiers strong and buff. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm proud. I'm very proud of the creator. <laughs> Especially with that SFM image. Uh, so as you saw, gentlemen, some very, very nice items this week in the workshop. Click the video in the center of your screen now to stay on this awesome channel. Stay in the loop and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.